Hello everybody. Our next camera is a Polaroid Automatic Land Camera 100. This was uh, introduced in 1963 and it ran to 1966. It was Polaroid's first pack film camera. Uh, back then it went for about 165 bucks. So in today's dollars, I haven't done the calculation, but this was not a cheap camera. Before I get into it, a thank you to Dick, who gave me this camera, and to John, who made sure that I got it. Everybody already says, you know, when I'm going on at a party about cameras, as I want to do, you know, oh, hey, I've got, you know, XYZ in the closet, or my dad had that, I think it's still around. Usually nothing ever comes of it. Um, Dick made a point of digging it out and getting it to my friend John to get it to me. So, thank you so much. This is an awesome camera. Uh, anyway, back to the camera. Um, as I said, this was their first one, and this is an early one. There are a couple of indications of that. It's a coupon to get the cold clip because they didn't actually have them ready. And... I got a 268 flash with it. This is a different one because the very, very old ones took a four and a half volt battery. Later ones took double A's. So I haven't, you know, tried to track down the serial number yet, but this is original, early, and an old version of the early ones. Uh, it's metal body and the uh, front standard with the shutter and lens in it is also metal. Tripod mount might not seem like a big deal but some of the cheaper plastic ones don't have it. This one has the separate rangefinder and viewfinder windows. Three element glass lens 114 millimeter uh, max aperture is f8.8 and between selecting the film and then the scene selector um, you get f8.8, 12.5, 17.5, 25, 35, and 42. Those seem really tiny until you remember that this thing was made to use 3,000 speed film. Uh, it has uh, electronic shutter, goes from 10 seconds to 1 1,200th of a second. It's always aperture priority, automatic exposure. Um, the ISO selections on this wheel right here are 75, 150, 300, and 3000. Um, really the only ones that Polaroid uh, manufactured in any quantities were the 75 and the 3000. Um, right now the only one that's current is Fuji 100C, but it works just fine at the 75 setting. Uh, you can still get your hands on the 3000B Fuji film, but they're not making it anymore. So uh, get out there and compete with me as far as hoarding it. Uh, it has lighten and darken. Uh, you get uh, minus one and plus two stops. It takes a four and a four and a half volt battery, uh, the one with the little snaps on the end, or you can do what I did. The flash that I got with this had a different four and a half volt, so I just taped it to it and it worked just fine. I managed not to shake it loose while I was shooting with it. Uh, I got a beautiful kit with this. The camera is in gorgeous condition. I got a really, really nice case that takes the camera and most of the accessories. Didn't have the cold clip even though somebody sent in the, uh, the coupon. But I did, I did get a flash with it. I got something that's incredibly rare, a cable release for this thing. It fits over the shutter button, so this ends a little bit odd. But other than that, it's normal, it's lockable for doing, you know, crazy long exposures. Original manual, this gorgeous uh, film timer which is, you know, the, the 100C Fuji self-terminating. You could forget about it and it will be fine. The 3000B, though, you want to pay attention to the recommended development times based on the temperature. 
and this thing is spot on accurate. This is a cool little timer. So the reason I was psyched about the uh, the flash, got a stash of flash bulbs with it, and you know it works really well. Properly exposes. It's awesome as long as you follow the instructions. Um, not with this kit, but I also have the self timer hooks over the shutter button the same as that cable release it's purely mechanical it's probably the same clockwork as the film timer and then I also have um, this portrait kit it's an adapter lens and these uh, lens that fits over the viewfinder and rangefinder I have it around here somewhere it has a white diffuser for the flash rather than the blue for when you're close up doing portraits. Um, they made a close up kit with let you, which lets you get even closer than that, but I don't have that one. Um, I ran a roll of, or a pack rather, of the 3000B through it. The shots are just gorgeous. Um, I love that film, and this camera uses it to its best advantage. So I'm going to hoard some more. Next, I'll shoot a roll of, a, I keep saying roll. I'll shoot a pack of the 100C through it. Um, you know, some of the cameras, I get them, I fix them up or not, and shoot with them, and then turn around and resell them. Hey, cool, I had fun with it. This one's a keeper. I love this. I've shot with a 220, 250 with the Zeiss uh, combined viewfinder rangefinder. Uh, the 420, which I shot for 420. <laughs> and now the 100. I like this one the best so far. This is definitely a keeper. So another pack is headed this guy's way and I'll see you then.